Okay, so let's walk through how to start earning yield on your Doge by providing liquidity on ThorSwap. So from ThorSwap, we're first going to connect our key store wallet, which has our Doge wallet. And we can confirm our wallet is connected and we have some Doge here ready to go. Then we're going to head to deposit and this is where you will deposit into the liquidity pool to start earning yield. So the way that liquidity pools work, you are pooling together a 50-50 split of two different assets. And by providing that liquidity, you're allowing for swaps to take place and then you are rewarded from those transaction fees. And the way it works on ThorChain is that every asset is paired with the native ThorChain token Rune. So when we're providing Doge liquidity, we are actually providing a 50-50 split of Doge and Rune. So we have exposure to both of them. And there are a few different ways to provide this liquidity, but they all end up being the same 50-50 split. But if you just have Doge, you can add only Doge, and then 50% of that is going to be immediately split into Rune on the back end. So even if you only add Doge, you're still going to have exposure to both assets. This is called adding asymmetrically when you're only adding one side. You could also add only rune and it would split half into doge. Or if you had both assets already, you could add equal amounts, both doge and rune, and that would already have your 50-50 split ready. If you're adding symmetrically or if you're adding just rune, the fee to enter is going to be in rune. But if you're adding just doge, then all you're going to need is your doge. So in this example, I only have doge here and that's what I'm going to be adding. And again, half of that is going to end up being Rune on the back end. So I will have exposure to both assets. So I can just decide how much liquidity I want to add. And then I click add liquidity and I confirm the transaction and we'll see it pending. And a couple of minutes later, depending on the Doge network speed, we'll see it has confirmed and we can click on liquidity and we can see some details on our position here, as well as you can click on this Thor yield link, which will allow you to track your yield over time. And let's say later on you're ready to withdraw this liquidity. You'll just go to withdraw here on the same liquidity tab and select how much you want to withdraw. And because we added asymmetrically Doge only, we will be withdrawing Doge only, and you just simply withdraw and approve that transaction. Also, if you added symmetrically, so Doge plus Rune 50-50, then you would have the option to withdraw 50-50 Doge and Rune or just Doge or just Rune. But when you're entering with just one, then you withdraw just the same one. And one important thing to keep in mind here is that when you're adding to a liquidity pool, you are creating this 50-50 split and this split will rebalance over time depending on price action. So you can experience something called impermanent loss, which is when one asset moves up or down a lot compared to the other one. So they're not moving exactly in unison. So let's say Doge were to go up by 50% as Rune just went flat. Well, then on the way up, you, some of your Doge would be rebalancing into Rune. And so that means you could end up with less Doge tokens and more Rune tokens through this rebalancing. And a really great feature of ThorChain is that they offer impermanent loss protection. You will get 100% impermanent loss protection after you've been in the pool for 100 days. It adds 1% per day until you have full 100% impermanent loss protection. And what that means is that your worst case scenario after staying in the pool for a full 100 days is that you would have an equal value to if you had just held the two assets 50-50 from the time you had actually entered the liquidity pool. So that's all it takes to start earning yield on your Doge by providing liquidity on ThorSwap.